Assalamualaikum. Today we will discuss the talk article about safe use of electrosurgery in gynecological laparoscopic surgery. So let us discuss the key contents. It is crucial to understand the basics of electrosurgery to deliver safe and effective laparoscopic surgery. Next point is about the electrosurgical effects which help us achieve different goals. Electrosurgical tissue effects include vaporization, desiccation and coagulation which help us achieve cutting, desiccation, ablation and hemostasis during the surgery. Next point is about the different types of instrument. Electrosurgery is delivered through monopolar and bipolar instruments and surgeon can avoid complications of electrosurgery by understanding the mechanisms underlying them. The last point is about the need of formal training. Establishment of a formal training program in surgical energy is needed for surgeons and theater staff to provide safe laparoscopic surgery. This talk article also tells us about the difference between electrosurgery and electrocautery. Electrosurgery is the application of high frequency alternating current in the surgery to achieve various thermal effects, uh, including cutting, desiccation, and coagulation. It is different from electrocautery, which is the passive transfer of heat to the tissue with no current passing through it. Next point is about the types of electric currents in electrosurgery. The two types of electric currents, direct current which moves in one direction and AC current which periodically reverses has been shown in this guideline. Electrocautery uses DC whereas the electrosurgery uses AC to avoid electrolysis and high frequency to avoid the paradic effect of the nerves and muscle stimulation. The effect ceases at the frequencies above 100 kHz because the frequency commonly used in electrosurgery are greater than 500 kHz which are similar to radio frequency. The term radio frequency electrosurgery is used. This article also tells us about the monopolar and bipolar instruments used in electric surg uh, electrosurgery. Electrosurgery can be delivered through monopolar or bipolar instruments. The main difference between them is where the two electrodes are placed. With the monopolar instruments, the dispersive electrode is placed on the patient away from the active electrode while the bipolar instruments have two electrodes at the tip and no need for a dispersive electrode. The functions of electrosurgical units has also been shown in this talk article. So basically, we have uh, three main functions of the generator or electrosurgical unit. First of all, the conversion of low electrical frequency of mains 50 to 60 hertz to a higher frequency. Adjustment of weightage and indirectly the voltage. And the last is control of the duty cycle. Now, this table tells us about the electrical terms and their relevant formula. First is that of the current, which is the rate of electron flow past a point in a circle and the formula is I is equal to V divided by R and the, for, uh, the unit is ampere. Next is current density which is the amount of current flowing across a given area and the formula is J is equal to I divided by A ampere divided by meter square. Next is voltage which is the force pushing electron uh, along a circuit and the formula is V is equal to I multiplied by R and the unit is voltage or joule per coulomb. Next is resistance, which is the opposition of the flow of the current in a circuit. And the formula is R is equal to V divided by I and the unit is Ohm. Next is circuit, which is the path along which the current flows. Next is power, the rate at which work or energy is done. P is equal to Q divided by T, V multiplied by I and the unit is watts, that is joules per second. Next unit is energy, which is a thermal. That is the ability to do work and Q is equal to P multiplied by T and the unit is joule watt second. Next is duty cycle which is the ratio of the on time to the total on and off time of a signal and the unit is ratio or percentage. Next is frequency which is the number of cycles or waves per second and the unit is hertz. The last one is waveform which is the pattern of electrical activity as displaced on an oscilloscope showing how voltage varies over time. Next point in the talk article is about the thermal effect at the different temperature. 37 degrees centigrade is the normal body temperature. At 40 degrees centigrade we, we don't have any structural damage. At 50 degrees centigrade there is cell death within the 6 minute and uh, at 60 degrees centigrade there is instant cell death. 
when the temperature is 60 to 95 there is inst instant cell death desiccation and coagulation that is white coagulation at 100 degrees centigrade we have cellular vaporization or cutting at 200 degrees centigrade we have carbonization or black coagulation in this table we have different variables in versatile monopolar applications along with other important parameters like cutting coagulation fulguration and coagulative coagulation of less than 2 mm vessels so the different variables include first of all the temperature and you can see the temperature in different conditions like cutting coagulation fulguration and coagulative coagulation another important variable is tissue effect and in cutting the tissue effect is vaporization in coagulation white coagulation in fulguration black coagulation and in coagulative coagulation we have vessel sealing next is about output type or uh, best achieved with like cutting is best achieved uh, with cut coagulation with cut fulguration with coagulation and coagulative coagulation with cut electrode position uh, with cutting is near contact with coagulation contact with fulguration non-contact with coagulative coagulation compressing electrode shape in cutting is needle coagulation wider fulguration needle and in coagulative coagulation we have jaws of forceps this talk article also tell us about the different waveforms like we have con continuous low voltage cut with the 100% duty cycle and non-contact and uh, we have the clean cut effects in this type of waveform next is about the continuous low voltage cut with 100% duty cycle tissue contact is in contact and we have the white coagulation in this type of the waveform next is blunt cut with a 50 percent duty cycle non-contact and we have the cutting with hemostasis cut with coagulation next is interrupted high voltage coagulation with six percent duty cycle the tissue contact is in contact and we have white coagulation in here next is interrupted high voltage coagulation with six percent duty cycle tissue contact is non-contact and we have superficial black coagulation or fulguration in this type of the waveform Different complications of monopolar and bipolar instruments have been shown in this talk article like we have the lateral thermal effects which are more with the uh, monopolar and less with the bipolar. Direct coupling is present with the mon monopolar and absent with the bipolar. Insulation failure is present with the uh, both type. Capacitive coupling present in monopolar, absent in bipolar. Alternative site injury present in monopolar and absent in bipolar. And it adverent uh, activation and current leakage through the cord are both present in monopolar and bipolar instruments. Now this figure shows the mushroom effect which leads to increased lateral thermal spreads. Like in the center we have the tissue and the jaws of instruments are shown. In the next figure, we have the touch jaws that results in electrical bypass and deficient coagulation. The black line represents the jaws of the bipolar instruments and the red line indicates the tissue coagulation. Next, we have the common patterns of electrosurgical complications like we have the active electrode injury due to direct application in adverent activation or residual heat. Next complication is insulation failure. Next is antenna coupling, direct coupling, capacitative coupling. Now this table tell us about the factors affecting the lateral thermal spread like in case of the variable like current we have continuous continuous current in which there is increased lateral thermal spread we have the pulsed uh, type of the current in which we have decreased uh, lateral thermal spread the other factors include voltage the power setting the tissue compression application time and the instrument types all these affect the lateral thermal spread this figure shows the antenna coupling due to close proximity and parallel arrangement of the cords and it include the camera the light source the esu telescope active electrode and here we have a patient this figure shows the capacitive coupling with hybrid cannula and here you can see the active electrode the metallic cannula the plastic gripper and here we have the abdominal wall of the patient and here you can see the bowel and the passage of electric current now this figure shows the active electrode monitoring and electrosurgical unit here we have a patient in this whole system you can see the inner insulation the outer insulation the conductive shield the active electrode and dispersive electrode 
Now this figure shows the four zones of the laparoscopic instruments. We have the laparoscopic cannula, the handle, the jaws and the different zones like zone 1 is the part of instrument with a monitor view. Zone 2 is the part of the instruments outside the cannula and out of the monitor view. Zone 3 is the part of the instrument inside of the cannula and out of the monitor view. Zone 4 is the part of the instrument outside the cannula and the abdomen. Now certain features of the monopolar devices have been shown in this talk article. First point is that use the lowest possible power setting. Secondly, do not apply the dispersive electrode over the bony prominences like metal processes, scar tissue, hairy skin and pressure area. Thirdly, vary the surface area of active electrode to achieve the desired effect without increasing the power setting. Fourthly, use the continuous low voltage waveform cut mode of the contact calculation. Fifthly, use the short intermittent activation. Six, avoid the open activation. Avoid activation in close proximity to or in contact with another metal instrument and use return electrode monitoring and active electrode monitoring technology. Now, there are certain important points about the bipolar devices as well. Always allow a safety margin when close to the vital structure because of the lethal thermal spread. Avoid tension on the tissue during activation because this compromises coagulation. In the area with the anatomical tension, use several applications with overlapping of the seal without leaving any unsealed tissue in between the two cells. Keep the jaws of the instrument clean at all the time by wiping with a wet swab to achieve the adequate tissue effect. To prevent tissue chatting, activate the instruments in short intermittent manner and release the tissue just before the current flow is terminated at the vapor phase. Next, do not use in tissue with the metal clips or stable in situ because it may cause injury from unpredictable current migration. Avoid over compression of the grasp tissue to prevent the bypass effect and do not include the big bundle of tissues in the jaw of instrument for good sale. And the last point is that in patients with the comorbidities such as the liver cirrhosis, prolonged steroid use, atherosclerosis, diabetes, malnutrition and coagulation diseases be extra cautious and consider alternative surgical methods because these conditions may affect the blood vessels. So thank you so much. That was all about talk article about safe use of electrosurgery in gynecological laparoscopic surgery. Subscribe on Ops and Gyne. Allah Hafiz.